I get my period. Thank God I'm not lost. So Sir says I don't have to go swimming. And I realise it'll be a convenient excuse in future PE lessons. We are all getting changed, nervous in our new school that has a swimming pool. We are 11 years old, and though we are quiet pretending to concentrate on the oddest task of putting on swimsuits, we are really concentrating on taking casual glances at the others. See who else has hair down there? Who else doesn't really have boobs yet? Who's wearing a sports bra? Who's wearing no bra? Who's wearing a real bra? No one, except Scarlet. And then the change room after swim, she starts like putting on this lotion, because her skin is dry, says. The lotion smells like strawberries. And this cherry is smelling Vaseline on her lips because her lips are dry, she says. And it's like waving a steak rump around when my dogs wandered off. She walked down the corridor and the boys will come running. Which is just the strangest thing because this is Scarlet. Scarlet who wasn't even invited to all the parties. Scarlet who was last to get the accessory that everyone else already had. Her <laughs> last to be picked. And she has this confidence, this quiet confidence, even when she's getting changed for swim. And it's like, where did that come from? And she suddenly started making these jokes, like she's a comedian. I can't think of any, but yeah, she makes these jokes. And the boys always flock, like bees to honey. Bees don't actually flock, they swarm. Sweating through their tight shirts, nervously running hands to the full messy gel coffee hair. Annoyingly fingering the branded bands of her pants, cause all the boys were suddenly wearing boxes, and <laughs> like branded ones, stupidly laughing at her jokes. And they're not even funny, not really. She has to bail it under two words and the boys start panting, wagging their tails. Manny, uh, the boys are disgusting anyway. But really, we get it. We get that it's not really about the boys for Scarlet. It's about attention. It's about for no once not being at the bottom, which is a bit pathetic, really. We take turns showing Sir our dives. And Scarlet makes a big ugly splash on the count of her boobs, adding weight, serves her right. Sir gives us five minutes free time at the end and plays classical music over the speaker so we can play calmly. Someone gets the idea that we should pretend we're not synchronised swimmers, we're just done, but we do it anyway. We lie on her backs in the water, a circle, my hands on her shoulder and her shoulder, hers on her shoulder and her shoulder. Hers on her shoulder and her shoulder. Hers on her shoulder and her shoulder. And then we kick our legs up into the air. It only lasts a moment before we all go underwater. The weight of someone on our shoulders drowning us. But for a moment, it's the prettiest thing you ever...